Random Battles 38, I think. Anyway, sitting in the low mid 2100s. Here we are, Stone Trimmer versus Scovillain. Not a great lead matchup, we kind of have to get out. Um, what do we got? We got Hitmonchan, Uncle Dango, Toxigiri, Inteleon. Inteleon, really powerful. I'm a fan of that. Everything else, pretty middling, I'd say. Um, the question is, how do I want to deal with Scovillain here? We have Tatsugiri, and we have... I think Tatsugiri is better. Has decent special defense. Hitmonchan, not fast enough, really, to deal with Scovillain consistently. Let's go Tatsugiri here. And if they have Leech Sea, you can spin. Okay, so this is looking like... Uh, sub Leech. Let's go ahead and miss Hydro Bomb. Uh, and uh, yeah, now we, we just spin. Okay, they protect. It's gonna be a little annoying. Actually, uh, the problem is our two, we have two Leech Seed immunities, but both of them are weak to Flamethrower. Uh, let's see, they go for the flamethrower. They get a burn, which is annoying. Tatsuki really gets getting worn down here. Uh, well, they're going to protect here. Nothing really to do but throw off a hydro. Yeah, and having hydro pump in this situation is not good. This would be a great time to have surf. Thank God this thing isn't moody anymore, though. If this thing were still moody, I, I'd be probably suicidal. <laughs> However, let's see, we got... Okay, they just switch out, thankfully. Shimeko out. Ah, I wish we were not burned. Then we can nasty plot. But uh, Psychic Noise is pretty threatening here. We can't just nasty plot once, though. Draco doesn't kill here. But Psychic Noise won't kill either. Yeah, so we take a lot of damage, but now we have a free Draco Meteor. Good to see if they have a Fairy as well. Okay, they have Koparaja. And uh, I think we'll just go out with a Hydro Pump. I don't really see any reason not to. And accounting for accuracy, it's probably a coin flip to kill, and we get it. Okay, well, Tatsugiri goes down. Um, I'm thinking Hitmonchan is decent into both of these. Get a knock on Chameko. And it's Life Orb, is that a KO? May possibly. Also good to get just Govon in general. Okay, Hitmonchan. Now, if I wanted to get crazy, I could Terra Dark here, get off a of Swords Dance. But they might just Thunder Wave. Let's just knock. I think going for the. <laughs> going for the Terra Dark SD is a little greedy. Okay, yeah, they just get that. That's fine. We'll knock again. We can just get Rift Chimeco. Okay, Chimeco down. We have one more hit with Sivan Chan. Expecting to see Scoville and come out here. And if they go Scoven, I think I'm just gonna close combat. Mock Punch wouldn't actually not be that great, because then they get an opportunity to sub on that. Like, if they predict sub here, or if they predict Mock Punch, they sub. We have to deny that. Yeah, I mean, Mock Punch would, would have been like 30%. Um, who do we want to go now, though? I think I like the idea of trying to trade with Victory Bell, because they're not likely to kill me, it's Flamethrower, but my Sludge Wave always kills them. And I'd, I'd love to send you a day, but the thing would steal my son as well. So 
So yeah, I'm just gonna try to trade with skill. Skill villain is just a problem for my team. And getting rid of that is good long term. Oh, they go steal. Oh, wow. Okay. Can Stone Trader just deal with this now? I think so. Um, we'll let Victory Bell go, I think. Yeah, just let them take that. Terra Seal, interesting. Okay, well, we always Earthquake now. Because Flamethrower is only doing like 40%. It's like one of the only special attacks you'll ever see Stone Jr. stomach. Now we are down. They've committed a Terra, but we are down a Pokemon. Curious to see what else they have. Go Houndstone. Which takes the Earthquake quite well. Now we have a decent chance to just KO here with Stone Edge. We're not switching into Poltergeist. I think I have to just go for it. We get it. Nice. Okay, Houndstone just gone. That's really good. We'll walk Trio out. This cannot KO me. Here's something I'm wondering. This Goldenko might be able to take a flamethrower. I think what I'm going to bank on here in the end game is Terra Water Choice Specs Hydro Pump. Um, just going to kill for the Stone Edge here. Do we get it? Nice. Stone Journer. Putting in some work here at the end. Okay, so now we're up 3 2. Stone Journer basically dead. Skill Villain's going to take it out here. And I think at this point we, we go for it. Terra Water Hydro Pump coming in. Okay, they protect. It's to be expected. And we miss. That's really bad. Come on, Hentelion. We're still fine. Still five, and there's no sub up. We really need to hit this. Okay, we got it. Oh. One more. Can it deal with Centelion? It's Necrozma. Okay, we're good. Goldango can beat this. As long as we hit one here. So yeah, we actually need to hit another Hydro Pump here. And because of that Leech Seed, we would live one of these hits usually, but we only have one opportunity now. Oh no. Oh, they went for Moonlight. That's a huge misplay on their part. They don't know I have Goldenko, but Moonlight is a misplay. Maybe. Ooh, this is close. Actually, I think they're going to Moonlight again, I think. It's working out for them. I'm going to play a little aggressively here and go Goldango. Yeah, because now we always hit him with a huge Shadow Ball and finish off with Scald. Okay, that is a little sketchy. But I, I don't think this is losable anymore. No Terra. Shadow Ball and huge damage. They can't get out of this with Calm Mind. So Goldango will clean up. Okay. Get the win up to 2153. Nice. Yeah, relying on Hydro Pump with two Pokemon. Not my favorite. Okay, we have Araquanid into Caesar. So this is lead, so it's probably um Sticky Web, but that's actually not huge too. We have two Defog Pokemon. Cramorant and Caesar. Otherwise, let's see, we got a mix Iron Valiant, that's pretty good. Soul Vest Executor is actually very strong. I mean, that special attack is huge, especially with Draco. Sceptile 
good speed control. Shed tail might be useful. Oak clones, okay. <laughs> 64 stadium announcer. He's living the role. Okay, Arachnid just getting up its sticky web here. Let's just go ahead and defog that. Rex, if we brave her there, we are net down. Now we don't have a great switch in for Mr. Lycanroc here. Everyone takes quite a bit of damage. Now Caesar can threaten it at least with the bullet punch. <laughs> if we want to be insane, we could just tear it down, but I don't see a need for that yet. Go Stone Edge. Okay, they are confirmed life orb. So now certainly about to close combat. We get Caesar in on that. And I'm gonna call I don't think they want to stay around for a bullet punch. I'm gonna U-turn out on this. Now if they do want to stick around, that could be trouble though. It could be valuable to just get more cheap healing with the leftovers. But I think I'm gonna U-turn. Yeah, okay, rack when it comes out. And we'll go back to Cramorant. Just go for Brave Bird here. Now that it doesn't have webs up, we can comfortably just attack. And even the chip on Lycanroc is alright, since it's always chipping itself down its attacks. Um, just any damage on it is good. Especially since it's pretty scary for our team. Okay, Raccoon it down. I'm enjoying this guy's commentary in the chat. Um, do we just kind of give him Wink alone? I'm thinking yes. We need to get someone fast in. Subtile or Valiant. We'll go Wink alone here. So go for a Stone Edge. And at this point, I'm willing to let Wink alone. Go. I guess we could have tried to go Valiant on a Stone Edge. There's an idea there, but I kind of prefer keeping health on Valiant. And we also have Caesar again. I think I'm going to go Caesar actually, just to keep information scarce. Go for a bullet punch here. Skill villain, okay. I think Executor is really good to skill villain actually. No Leech Seed. Flamethrower doing minimal damage, Grass Moves doing minimal damage, Stomping Tantrum doing minimal damage, like, kind of a, as good of a Scoville encounter as you can ask for, realistically. Okay, it's Boots. Okay, Sunny Day. Now, Fire Blast is a little frightening, I guess. We'll just drop a Draco, though. Oh, Executor. That's some fraudulent behavior. Can Kramer come in after this? It can. In fact, Kramer could come in right now. Let's go Kramer. And, um, just throw off another Brave Bird. Okay, Energy Ball, we live that, and we take out Scoville. Okay, <laughs> I didn't... Did not like that potential there with Scoville and just two hitting ki two hitting things I said was a good counter. It's about to look a fool. Uh, let's go Caesar again. Okay, this thing is threatening Fire Blast right now. We don't have a good answer for it. We might just want to take damage here, honestly. We have B control for Lycanroc. I think I just like take damage. Okay, that I did no damage. Okay, how do we want to deal with Skuntank now? 
Close combat in Oko. Nothing that Sceptile does is in Oko. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for CC here. Now we could get crazy and Terra Steel. There's no reason to. That'd just be greedy. And I suppose they could tear poison here, but I doubt it. Okay. We do have to take Aftermath and Life Orb, but Skun Tank down. Who had uncontested gunk shots into our team. Okay, Bruxish comes out. This is telling me it's Scarf, or it could just be trying to take a hit. Let's think about this. I think it was Psychic Fangs. We have, I guess we have Terra Steel, right? And I would ex would expect Psychic Fangs. They're not going to Wave Crash with Executor around. Um, I think we are just going to Moonblast into this. Okay, it is Scarf, but we live. Okay, Moonblast into Ariados. We actually do not kill this with Psychic, but we at least put it into range. This is going to be close. Sceptile beats Lycanroc and Bruxish. But they have not tear it yet. Oh, they get a T-Spike too, that's smart. And we die. Uh-oh. This is actually looking really bad now. Because Executor is... Okay, it is faster, actually. So they're going to Sucker Punch here. We will just simply knock off. Oh yeah, this is close. Okay, they go Lycan Rock. Now we go Sceptile, we just Giga Drain this. Well, actually, is that correct? Let's think about Choice Scarf Bruxish. Actually, really struggles. I don't think this thing can beat Sceptile, really. I think we Terra Steel to prevent damage from Excel Rock and Giga Drain twice. Okay, no Excel Rock. And yeah, I don't think Bruxish is strong enough. Because we resist the Psychic Fangs now. Resist Ice Fang. Giga Drain, very likely to KO. Oh, they go Psychic. I forgot the Aterra. Oh no. Oh, and the Overgrow. Just shy. That was as close as possible, man. With the wave crash, yeah, Terra. Well, we take the loss, that sucks. And they had no Excel Rock. Which means we didn't really get to play games with our Terra. Ah, but there's no telling it whether they had Excel Rock or not. That that is so close. But we go down. Okay, we have Vikavolt into Garg. We have a lot of speed in our team anyway, though. Although, I guess Sticky Web is still good for everything. Great. Well, I don't know. Maybe just hitting Garg is good too, but. I and mean, what is Garg? Garg is annoying for your, some of our team. We'll just get a web down. They go for Stealth Rock. We'll go for an Energy Ball here. And they go for Salt Cure. I'll see if I can catch a switch out now. Go for Thunderbolt. They just protect. Okay, we Energy Ball again now. And we can kind of just let Vika Volt. 
swing around now because it can't come back in with these rocks. Unless I tidy up later, but... Mm. Okay, they reveal Wigglytuff. Which is not what I want to see here. I'll just Thunderbolt into it. As it wishes up. Okay, so this thing has to basically protect you. Oh, but this is... This thing's annoying. Yeah, okay, it just protects. Um, I have a good way to immediately threaten this. And plus two special attack is annoying. Okay, we do get a pair, though. That's <laughs> so our best answer right now. I think leaves. Population Bomb is actually pretty likely to KO. I think we'll pop bomb here. Garg is weakened, so that can't really switch in easily. Yeah, we can't tidy up reliably here, because um, they would Oko us. Four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. Okay, we got weekly tough. Okay, guard gonna come in now. Makes sense. Uh, do we just go wug trio on this? <clears throat> we'll go iron leaves, I think, for now. And I think we just SD up here. I mean, all can do is solve cure, and that's slow. Oh, they go for protect. Bad idea, buddy. And they tear a ghost just to get out of that. I mean, we still have leaf blade, psi blade. They're probably just gonna protect here. I'm fine with just throwing out attacks. We'll go for a psi blade now, just a little mix up. Okay, so they've already committed Terra, and we have webs down. And Garg is now also vulnerable to Bite from Household. Okay, there's Ludicolo. That's, there goes Ludicolo. Gone, but not forgotten. Okay, what can they do now? Garg, I mean, can just protect again, sure, but... So don't they also don't really have a Grass Switch in? So we'll just Leaf Blade. I mean, if their best grass switch in was Ludicolo, then they don't have one. Yeah, Groudon, goodbye. And um, we can also just go Jaculus here. Dark Pulse guaranteed to Oko the Garg. I don't mind that. They will click Protect. Actually, no Protect. They just go Hariyama. Ooh, now Hariyama's an issue for our team. Because we really just don't switch into it. Let's think about this. Who beats Garg in the endgame? Glaceon, kind of. Wugtrio, kind of. <laughs> and then actually, Maswell does really terrible damage against it. But at the present, I, I'd rather keep momentum. We have enough answers for the guard. I'm just going to Dark Pulse into Hariyama here. Because yeah, we can get a bit of damage off. Flame Orb Ship. Uh, probably a Bullet Punch coming out here. Yeah. Now, one thing we can do actually here is encore them into Bullet Punch. Okay, they go Caladon. Oh, God. Good thing I didn't encore. Jeez. Alright, good thing I didn't pop on because I was thinking I'd have plus to one million defense. Um, I think we can go Glaceon here. Okay, we take the Draco. We can wish up here.
Okay, Body Press not doing that much damage. Go Haryama. Makes sense. Um, we can just Protect here. Getting close to putting Haryama into range. We still have Terra Water though. Terra Water not great. Uh, we don't have any really like good Terra types here. It might be Terra Water time though. Oh, but close combat is actually so strong it would probably kill us anyway. Let's sack Mouse Hole here. My question is... Oof, they have a lot of bulk here. Not a fan. We'll protect again. We kind of just have to do this, because like we don't have a good way to hit this stuff. Okay, we get off for protect. Freeze dry likely to kill here. And okay, we get Haryama. If they go our Kaladon here, I'm gonna tear water. And if they go Garg, I think we have to just freeze dry. We have to keep it low. Okay, they're gonna do that. Oh boy, Freeze Dry is not strong enough here. Let's go Bug Trio now. Oh, they get the Salt Cure then. Not good for us. And they're gonna Protect. I'll switch out on that. Oh man, this is it's so bad. We have to hit a Freeze Dry now. Oh, we're just kind of lacking power here because Glaceon is Glaceon's Yon is just not useful with this guard. How is this guard still still coming in clutch after being around for so long? Truly an annoying ass Pokemon. Okay, we got a Freeze Dry. They Salt Cure. Freeze Dry is likely to kill now. I'm gonna wish up. Okay, they go just straight for recover. Thing is, I can wish protect for a while as well. And they don't really do anything. Yeah, we'll just wish recover. Cause I mean, eventually they run out of, they run out of Salt here before they run us out of wish and recover. Okay, our Kaladon in. We need to create a situation situation where it's Glaceon and Wugtrio versus Garg. Okay, Flash King comes out. Can Wug even take that? Yeah, I can. I think that's what we have to do, actually. We're going to tear ground stopping Cantrum here. It's, I think, my best shot. Okay, this will basically take care of our Kaladon. So now we just freeze dry. And I think we can just stall Garg out. I think we're good. Yeah, now we just click freeze dry for a bit. Now we click wish. And this is going to be a thrilling final lot of turns. <laughs> Next, let's think about it. They, hit, they have 18 Soul Cures. We have 13 Wishes, 11 Protects. I mean, just Wish Protect alone is a lot of PP on that. And they're running a little low on Recover. Um, we'll just freeze. No, we'll Protect. We're a little low. Now they might recognize this and start clicking things like Stealth Rock, but eventually I think we have enough freeze dries to break through. Yeah, 
Yeah, very, very slow end here. And they're taking their time, too. Okay, protect up. They get some other salt cure gone. Wish again. And then freeze dry. You had to be Terra Ghost. You couldn't be Terra Water. Or Terra Dragon. I think I could just carry a dragon in random battles. And sure, I could have tried to keep around uh, the Jugulus for this, but like, it would have been hard with that Haruyama. Okay, we'll freeze right now, get some damage off, then wish protect. Salt Cure does the kind of an annoying amount of damage. Like, we can't freeze dry as much as I'd like to. They're down to 15 salt cures. But I would think they're going to actually recover soon. Uh, but now we have to protect. I love Garganackle. I love Garganackle. And we're basically only playing with three moves here because Yawn just does nothing for us. Because, uh, yet again, Garganackle, annoying-ass guy. We'll wish Protect again here. <laughs> we do beat this, right? I'm still actually starting to wonder. Oh my god, stop. We just need to be able to get healthy again. In the case of Salt Cure, Wish Protect is not great. Because every time we protect, we have to take more, more of the Salt Cure chip damage. That's a 20 seconds on their timer. How could you possibly be thinking this hard about <laughs> clicking Salt Cure, basically? Honestly, it would not matter if they time out. Because that'll save um, you and I a lot of time. And they're gone. Okay. <laughs> we'll get one more now. Try to go 3 1. Get close to 2200. Okay, <laughs> the Garg Menace has been dispelled. <laughs> now looking at Incineroar versus Scrafty. They are Intimidate. This could be probably a heavy dude, but it could also apparently be Band or Scarf. Or it could be AV. It could be a... too many things. Um, anyway. We have Mudstale, which is good. We have Cleavor as well. Ooh, it's Sword Sands Cleavor there. That's kind of strong into fat stuff. I mean, Sword Stance X Scissor is really powerful. We'll go Mudsdale. Um, they've disconnected. <laughs> Guess let's think more about our team while they're gone. We got Curse Snorlax. And it has Crunch to hit Ghost types and Earthquake. Nope, no rest though. So this Snorlax doesn't get walled by anything. But it does have longevity issues. A Zelf AV is kind of weird. Knockoff explosion, it's like a U-turn, it's like a... It's a set. You can definitely trade with explosion. Mudsdale with stamina. Pretty reliable. Lycanroc, really strong. Cleave Orb. Has speed issues, but it is very strong. And I, I think this person's also just gone. Now this is what I call a battle. Turn 1, victory. I might just call it for this episode. And uh, we'll pick up immediately with the next. Uh, if you're still watching after a lot of timer running down, thank you so much. And I will see you for the next one. Take care.